Hello and welcome to Safe Secure Surfing's Web RTC Leak Test for IP Vanish. In this video, we're going to be testing IP Vanish and see if there's a leak when we look at the Web RTC. So this is a communications tool that's often used for doing FaceTime chats or from speaking from one platform to another, doing using your webcam or various things like that. We're going to be using three websites today: ipleak.net, browserleaks.com, and whatismyipaddress.com. So without any further delay, let's get started. Here we are at the first of our three websites that we're going to be testing for WebRTC leak. So the, the first three tests here that are being done are being done before IP Vanish uh, VPN service is turned on. So we're going to be taking a look at before and after to compare how well uh, IP Vanish protects us from a WebRTC leak. So as you can see here, this is showing both my IPv6 web address as well as my IP address, and as would be expected because we haven't got IP Vanish turned on. So now we're going to head over to browserleaks.com and we'll see we should see similar results that they're showing that we're that we're having leaks here with the WebRTC leak. Now I've come over to browserleaks.com forward slash WebRTC. This is still with the IP Vanish VPN service turned off. And as we can see here, we're showing IP address is showing, the IPv6 address is showing, as well as the local IP address. This is consistent with what we were seeing from ipleak.net. We are now at whatismyipaddress.com forward slash WebRTC dash test. This is the third and final website that we'll be taking a look at here for IP Vanish VPN is turned on. Once again, we're seeing an IPv6 address being displayed, local IP address being displayed, but we're not actually seeing a public IP address being displayed on this one. So now I will turn on IP Vanish. We'll see how well this protects us from a WebRTC leak. So I've come over here to IP Vanish VPN service, and I've selected a server out of the United States out of the city of St. Louis. So it's now turned on, and we'll take a look at the various websites, ipleak.net, whatismyipaddress.com, and browserleaks.com to see if we're detecting a WebRTC leak and how well IP Vanish performs doing this test. I've turned on IP Vanish, so now we're going to take a look and see how the three sites do, see if we have a WebRTC leak or not. So here we are at ipleak.net, and we're showing that our IP address is showing from Missouri in the United States, which is what we selected. But what we're showing with the IP address is that we have an IPv6 leak. We're not showing any uh, public leak or a local leak. So we're seeing a leak with the IPv6 address here for IP Vanish. So we'll go ahead and go over to browserleaks.com next and we'll see how the test does over there. So here we are at browserleaks.com forward slash WebRTC. We're going to take a look at the three different metrics here, local IP address, public IP address, and IPv6 address. So the local IP address and the public IP address are showing the same as on the other site, as well as the IPv6 address. The only downside here is that the IPv6 address is leaking my true location here. So we're seeing similar results as what we saw over at ipleak.net. With all of that being said, we'll now move over to whatismyipaddress.com. Here we are at whatismyipaddress.com forward slash webrtc dash test. This is the third and final website that we're going to take a look at here to test if we have a WebRTC leak with IP Vanish. And for this one, we're showing the similar local IP address. We're actually not showing a public IP address for this one, it's similar as to when we tested it before IP Vanish was turned on. And then we're showing the same IPv6 address leak as well. So next, I will go and sum up all of the results, and we'll talk about those results here in a second. All right, so here I've come and compiled the results from before IP Vanish was launched and after IP Vanish was launched. So we're showing that before IP Vanish was launched on all three websites that we were given the real address or showing the real location for all three metrics, local IP address, public IP address, and the IPv6 address, which is what one would expect. So after IP Vanish was launched, we were showing that the local IP address and the public IP address metrics were both in. For the local IP address, the local IP VPN was given, and then for the public IP address, it was the same as the one that we selected from the server with IP Vanish. What was disappointing, though, was that IP Vanish displayed our IPv6 address from the real location that we had versus the one that was shown pre-IP Vanish launch. So that sums up our, our test here. IP Vanish provides partial covering for WebRTC leak, but not a complete protection from that. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. We look forward to chatting with you down there in the comment section below, and we wish you a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching.